Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel. We are the homies. I'm Ellie. This is Larry. And we are watching uh, Band of Brothers. Four. Four. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go. Are you ready? I don't know. In this movie, you have to be really ready. <laughs> yeah, you need to actually be very ready. Take a big breath and <clears throat> let's go. Let's go. In the last episode, the part that sucks was. We got attached to light. Yeah. He was not like. I honestly thought at the middle that he's gonna snap and when and go like mental killing everyone. I had a doubt that it will happen this, but usually in the real life. It's not like. This. It's not working like but that. But sometimes this. Maybe. Very rarely. The Tacoa man has the ones that was there at the very beginning. We hoped we could keep them alive, or they could keep alive, a lot of them didn't. I got right there to where I didn't want to be friendly with replacements coming in because, God, I didn't like to see them get killed. I just, yeah, it just tore me up. Furthermore, they were good. We had good officers for the most part, but we had excellent NCOs. They looked, they looked after you. You want a bet? No, pack of smokes. Oh, gamble. Come on, I don't have another game. I, oh, I don't know much about gambling. Pack of smokes. Yeah. Hey, come on. The first pack one to hit the bullseye? Yeah, we'll <laughs> <first> get <laughs> one shot. One shot. One shot. Yeah, why not? Yeah? Lieutenant, uh, you're going to ah, shoot lefty all night. He plays in X-Men. Exactly. Ah, yeah. Just curious, because he's right-handed. George. We'll what would I do without George Luz? Boop! Oh! Goodness gracious. Where'd you get that? For what the regiment did in Normandy. That's right. For what the regiment did. You weren't there. Hey. This here is Carver Lipton, the new Easy Company First Sergeant. <laughs> Hate to break the mood here, boys, but uh, we're moving out again. Nah, come on. This is called Operation Market Garden. In terms of airborne divisions involved, this one's even bigger than Normandy. Our job is going to be to liberate Eindhoven. Stay there, wait for the tanks. It's Montgomery's personal plan will be under British command. Yippee. The good news is, if this works, these tanks will be over the Rhine and into Germany. That could end the war, get us home by Christmas. Mm. Ross? <laughs> Well, he's the newly appointed regimental S4. Supply Super. officer. Yeah, you got it. It's a, it's a. You thought you'd get away with it? Bike. What do you mean, sir? Where'd you find it? Yeah, it's him, all right. Who is he, Sarge? The first CEO. <laughs> what happened? Got promoted. <laughs> tap my leg, Sergeant. When the green light comes on, you could just tap me, all right? The green light will be next to you, sir. Just do it. That's an order. Okay, hold your fire. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sergeant Talbert, let's move. We got work to do. Ah, they are fascist. What did they do? They slept with the Germans. I'd be happy to have your help. Get scouts to enter town in case we're here for the night. Uh, it's an air raid shelter. My family has been in there ever since the, the first plane flew over. We're, uh, we're Americans. Please don't kill the kid. Why would they kill the kid? Like in the war. Ah. He never tasted chocolate. <laughs> the 
this is. For me, it seems so crazy how even they like can coordinate, understand, like and be so, you know, like a team. And I don't know, it's crazy. Hey, hey. What's he saying? Little, Come on. Uh, away, away, which. <laughs> You have to warn them. Stop. And they know now. Please. We've got a crowd tank! Army guards on the left side of stage back! My orders are no unnecessary destruction of property! I'm telling you, he's right there! And I believe you, even if I can't see the bugger, I can't bloody well shoot him, can I? What the hell's he doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, people are dead. He won them like fuck. That was Yeah. Dicks! I'm alright! 
All right. We got four dead, 11 injured. OK. Let's move them out. Oh, and sir, Randleman's missing, too. Lieutenant Brewer is gonna make it. Nah, there's no way. He's headed back to England. They'll probably send him home. How is that possible? He did turn his head at the last second when um, Sergeant Randleman called out to him. Call him to Jim. No. Um, hold on, babies. So they're supposed to be on his side. Mm. The whole ones they were waiting for the Americans to stay. Oh. Oh. It's a piece of metal. What are they? The Germans? Yeah. He's gonna see. Of course he's gonna see. Otherwise, shouldn't be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Hollywood stuff. Who oh, did you shoot him now when the plane goes? Yeah. Now. Why do you want her to do so? Well, she's gonna get draped, not me. <laughs> this is spirit. Now by yourself, you know, I'll go with you. Let me get some ammo. Yeah. Uh, I'll go. Well. Me too. Dude, that's the Germans. Not us. Oh, there's so many. Again, they make yeah. slippery mistakes. Retreating. There's time for everything. I think we're gonna have to find another way into Germany. So, yeah. yeah. So Was it? Ah, we are done. I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's like... At the beginning, I didn't... 
I didn't think he's gonna survive. Who? The, the bull? The bull guy. But I was uh, sure he will. But when they show him that he was in that um, tube, mm -hmm. yeah, I yeah. was like, all right, at least he managed. Because there is a chance, you know. If yeah. he was just there laying, I'm pretty sure they would have killed him. No, he was nice. He was and, like... Uh, and I think if he fighter. was just staying there for the night without moving, he would have saved the trouble and it would be more um, secure. But it I'm, can be. Because... Uh, I guess nobody checks there. I don't know, maybe. I don't know, but anyway, like, he's survived. Yeah, and it was cool that his, oh. his guys went to see This him. is like a very heavy TV show, I don't know what to say, like, in the end of this. Yeah, it's kind of... But it's... Anyway, no, it's, it's really... If, if I watch. didn't do it, the actions, I would have skipped few parts because... <laughs> I mean, come on, I want to see what happened, I don't want to... Ah, because you want to see uh, yeah, it was immediately what will happen in Yeah, the because end. it's too so stressful, you know? You don't know, is, is he going to kill him? Is he going to yell? Is he not going to see him? Did they <laughs> cover him? <laughs> Is the other guy gonna betray him? Does the girl gonna yell? You know, there's so because we watch so many movies and you know you know all types of scenarios in that situation. Yeah. <laughs> but you're like, alright, but this is supposed to be more realistic one, but you don't know how realistic. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like so much stuff. But yeah. Mm. And uh, the part here and again I say it's so much luck. It doesn't matter how good you are. I mean you you can get yes. ketchup just like this. Yes, but like it's luck only if you're good. If you're bad, you're no, bad. No, there are, there are some, you know, super lucky people who suck. Just the, the destiny is like you're gonna live. Yeah, but when you're in the war, I think this is not valid. Or it's like the percent is really, really low. Yeah, it's low, but yeah. Like maybe one, one million. I think in the World War II, they're like. 50 million casualties or 60, I don't know. It was, it was such... Oh. It was like half of, half of Europe was that dead at the time. Yeah. Oh, it's too much damage. Yeah. And one last thing before we continue. Did you know that uh, it's uh, people still don't know why? I guess nature like regulate itself, but because of war, you know, more guys die. Of because of big wars, guys die, men yeah. die, men die. But uh, people mention that after that there are more boys born, so they it balances. Ah, out. yeah, I've heard something like this. Yeah, it's super weird. It is weird because it was supposed to be like uh, we would have been like thirty percent men versus seventy women. Yeah, something like this. But and people can't explain it how. Mm. Yeah. It's the balance of the <laughs> nature. Of the nature. Yeah. It, yeah, it, but it, it's definitely because it's not only one time, it's throughout the history of people of humans and we see this. We are pretty balanced and somehow the nature detects it, which is cool. Mm. Alright, so we have more TV shows to watch. Yeah. And see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.